Today. Right. Good. Uh, Silverback, I'll tell you, head tracking isn't necessarily comfortable. If you're looking for comfortable, get a VR headset. Hey, head like tracking, crazy. head tracking, it'll take you about a month to three months to get used to it, and then you don't really pay attention to it yet. But it still fucks with my neck. So, because you're not like to look back. You're not looking all the way back, you're only looking a little bit. Which means it's very sensitive. Which means I'm tensing the fuck out of my neck, so I don't twist too far, you know what I mean? I mean, it's worth it if that's what you're talking about. It definitely really helps. But if you're looking for comfortable, definitely go VR. The reason I haven't gone VR is I prefer 4K, but the moment that VR has 4K, I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm getting a headset and a new video card. Okie dokie. Alright, brakes on. Throttle to full. Brakes off in 3, 2, 1. Brakes off. Throttle to afterburn. Sorry, I was a little behind you there. That's okay. Probably for the best. Yeah. With all this weight on my wings, who knows what would have happened. Rotating. You're up in three, two, one. You're going up and throttle back. Pull. Did I break something? I don't know. I'll find out when I land. <laughs> Master arm on. So the downside of the ECM that's coming is your um, countermeasures have to either be in semi or auto mode, so you can't use bypass. Those fuckers. Yeah. That's not realistic. Well, I'm sure if you... This thing has an engine that doesn't screw up three minutes after you take off as opposed to Microsoft's Cessna 172. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. I don't know either. It's one of those problems I'm going to try and iron out today. <clears throat> With any luck, they ironed it out overnight or something while I was sleeping. Hey, guys. Everybody is so busy flying the Boeing passenger liners that nobody's paying attention to the Cessna being fucking broken. I hope that's not a problem. I'd like to think there's a lot of people that enjoy flying the Cessnas. I don't even touch those passenger liners. I'd like to fly them around, but you want to do the small stuff, so I stick to the small stuff. Well, if you want to fly them around, I will load up that F-18 and fly formation. So I guess I gotta get a, um, Air Force One skin for it. <laughs> An Air Force F-18. I want that three-seater F-22 also. <laughs> Jason probably thinks we forgot. He probably don't even remember me anymore, but I remember him and what he said. Yeah, he was always talking a bunch of shit. Yeah. I didn't mind him talking crap, I just didn't like the fact that he would always stand two inches from my face. If he gets COVID, he's going to be a weapon of mass destruction. Honestly, he'd probably face down in the dirt somewhere in Afghanistan. Shot in the fucking back. Nah, he works for the school board now. Oh god, it's even worse. Yeah. 
No wonder the schools are fucked up. He's like not the director, but he's like second or third. Huh. I'll have to look that up. I suppose it's not an elected position because I've never seen his name on the ballot. Nah, it's not elected. Big use. He, he, he's, um, he's in IT. Hmm. Silverback says he's waiting for 4K and lighter. I don't know. I think they're pretty light. How do you feel about the weight of your Oculus, Brian? It's fine. I mean, it's, you know, I could almost add extra weight to it just to simulate the weight of an F-16 helmet. But, uh, yeah, I have no problems with it. There you go. Get yourself it's, an actual... It's very light. Get yourself an actual Air Force helmet and then attach the VR to that. Then you'll have the correct weight. I've seen uh, people do that. I imagine it's not that hard to do. Yeah. Just gotta go to the hardware store, get some um, steel strips and bend them to the correct shape, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm not getting anything on my radar here. Oh, they don't pop up till they're about to fire. Motherfuck. Yeah, that was the thing, remember? Yeah. Welcome to the wonderful world of Wild Weasel. Perhaps I should have just went clean and you shot him. There we go. Okay, they're targeting me, but I do not see anything on the scope. It takes a second or two. Mm. Thank you for there the follow, go. OJ87. I assume you're a big fan of orange juice. All right, they're firing at me if you can see them. I can. Magnum. Turning away. Well, that burned up a lot of his missiles, so there is that. He took out the um, the harm before it got to him. That's one I of the reasons. That's one of the reasons why I made them tours. Like they have short range, but they can shoot down missiles. Silverback, I don't mean to sound insulting, but if the current generation of VR is too heavy, you should probably do some workouts for your neck muscles. You're probably going to have some neck problems anyway if you don't. I don't have any problem with this VR headset. It's perfectly fine. It's light. Magnum. Maybe those new standalone VR headsets are too heavy or something. I don't know. Well, if nothing else, I'm getting them to piss away all their missiles. They're gonna run out I'm of missiles. I'm not getting anything on my scope. You got your yeah, RWR no. turned on, right? Yes, the RWR is turned on. I see them targeting me on my RWR, but I got nothing on my harm scope. And the harms are turned on? Yep. And you're on table two? Well, I didn't do it this time because you said that the ta that extra targeting pod thing takes care of that. Well, it helps you scan faster, but I still think you have to be on the correct table. So you want to switch to table two, at the very least. Well, damn. I should have done that already. Yeah, that's what I always do, but I didn't do it this time because I was told that I don't have to. <laughs> I didn't say anything about not having to do the table. I said it drastically reduces the scan time, so you don't have gotcha. to set the filter. Well, you know, the search filter? All right. All right.
Well, the search time is pretty spot on, even without that targeting pod, if I'm on the filter. But I am at, completely out of countermeasures, so I'm heading back to base. Peel that targeting pot off and just use the harm if that's the case. Why are you always so negative? I'm not negative, it's just it works fine, scanned fast, without the need for that extra pod. I put on that extra pod because I thought that I wouldn't have to do the filters. You don't have to do the filters, but you gotta set the table. Yeah. It only that's scans what I mean within that table. table. The filter of the tables. I haven't managed to shoot down any of them. I have used up a bunch of their missiles, though. <laughs> I'm gonna come in to land also. I'm gonna land at the opposite end. That way I can get to that part of the tarmac easier. The, um, south end? I'm going to be coming in from the, oh, the north end. Oh, the north end. Okay. Yeah, I see you now. Crack pipe, five by five. Isn't that actually like a radio thing? Altitude. Altitude. People to... argue about it, but my thing is, is that in all of my real flying, I have never heard anybody say that. <laughs> in fact, most everybody treats that radio like it was a telephone. Just straight talk, no numbers, just tell everybody where you are. And then somebody will get on the forums and be like, no, 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 that is official, that's official lingo right there. And then some airline pilot will be like, I never heard that shit. Well, you've never been in the military. It's like, well, where do you think all the airline pilots come from? <laughs> it might be one of those uh, never follow the book things you know like maybe it's in the book but no. uh, nobody ever did it no it's it's I believe the closest you can find is from actual um, I mean like CB radio type stuff oh god and 5x5 five five is supposed to refer to the signal quality. Yeah. Like, I don't know, maybe she's saying you're in the pipe like the ILS approach and it's 5x5 five five, like the ILS signal's clear. I don't know. Yeah. It made sense to somebody when they were writing it. Yeah, I was just thinking maybe, perhaps. They read these rule books and their old rule books and nobody followed them anyway but the writer didn't know that because he's not a pilot so he's reading through all this official shit and putting it in there as lingo without actually going to pilots and asking them hey have you ever said this right here in this little thing here and the pilot just being like nah never never in a million years would I ever say that alright well since the there we go you think I got enough shit on there Yep. <laughs> Nothing highlights how fucking small this thing is than going from the A-10 with Mavericks to this thing with Mavericks. Mm 
It's like on the A-10, the Mavericks have like tiny ass little rockets, and on this thing, it's like the whole fucking wing. <laughs> Holy crap. Hmm? Yeah, you turned that thing into an A-10. Let's see if... I mean, it says it's still 2,000 pounds underweight, so I should be able to take off. It's just a question after I take off, will I have enough fuel to... <laughs> Definitely need to be in mode 4 for that. I think it's automatically in mode 4. Okay. I don't even know where mode 4 is. Sorry, mode 2, 3, whatever. The one that's not one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm yeah, ready when you are. Should switch down. <laughs> All right. Uh, brakes on. Throttle to full. Brakes off in three, two, one. Brakes off. Throttle to full after burn. As I understand it, the digital flight control system on both the Hornet. And the Viper will automatically G limit you if you have air to ground on your loadout. Like you don't even have to touch anything, you're automatically limited to six. Nice. It did it again. That is fucking weird. At least I didn't tap my wing this time. So 2022 is looking pretty fucking lit. So end of January, we're getting the Apache. Spring sometime, I'm getting Space Marine 2, which I will be streaming the fuck out of. I really like the first one. In fact, I might replay the first one on stream on like off days. Cool. I just gotta see how my schedule work out. The Ascent's pretty fucking good. Like, if, if you played Diablo and you said, this really needs lasers and machine guns, then then that's it. <laughs> so I'm actually really enjoying it. Like, I tried um, the Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor game, which was all right. But the Ascent is definitely much better mechanically. It's more... It's more user friendly. You don't have Holy to. Crap, I'm getting lit up again. Oh, so I guess that answers the question of do they reload? What's lighting you up? Does it say 15? Oh, I suppose I should yeah. turn my RWR on. My God, is that? I guess that's not you, shotgun messaging me. No, I'm flying. <laughs> yeah. I must not have that thing on that tells people that I'm playing a game right now streamer mode no because if you had streamer mode you wouldn't even hear the notifications yeah. well no it's just usually if i'm on discord it'll say underneath my name I'm, I'm playing a game right but you also have what's called streamer mode which mutes all notifications on discord yeah, i figure i wouldn't need to go that far i mean if it says i'm playing a game then they oh i'm busy i but always go that far I'm just thinking maybe it's not displaying that. This is so much fun. These are dead on. If this doesn't take them out, I'm going to be really upset. There we go. The last SA-15 is fucking dead. <laughs> I swear I grabbed the anti-tank ones. I guess I grabbed the anti-personnel. Aw, oh, man. That was the wrong exit button. You exit, exit. I just, I looked up and I saw you flying around blowing stuff up and I'm like, no, this is like the perfect place to just stay. This is cool. But then I exited out of the whole damn server. Mm-hmm. 
Because that looks cool watching it from the road. I guess I could always fly over there and eject again and watch it. Hmm. The sound of that engine in the distance and then the, the explosions. Kind of cool. But what was funny is I got nicked and I had to slow down and drop altitude drastically to, uh, to recover. And of course, that gave that uh, tank the ability to shoot me easily. And uh, he took, first he took out the uh, vertical stabilizer and I'm like, I could fly with that. And then he took out the whole damn tail and I'm like, oh, okay, that'll do it. <laughs> Took just a little too much off the top, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot more than that to shoot me down. <laughs> okay, that'll do it. <laughs> just put a flesh wound. <laughs> <laughs> well, when the strike eagle comes out, I'll fly it then. How about that? <laughs> I have no interest in flying that antiquated low mass fucking thing that they have that they call an eagle I'm looking forward to the smack eagle yeah I want my Apache too Melon what the fuck did you do where's the Apache you were calling they wags want, names weren't you they want to destroy all the Apaches that we left behind in Afghanistan before they actually put training material out on the web of the I actually did hear somewhere else along the lines that those were um largely write-offs to begin with well I saw someone on live leak last week flying one of those things Oh. Are you telling me the government lied to me again? Sorry. But the government said they would never lie again. The government said they changed. I think they're getting better. I lie. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, please don't tax me again. Well, Biden said that uh, when he's president, nobody uh, working like lower middle class will ever have to pay taxes ever. Yeah, nobody, nobody lower earning, middle. nobody un earning under four hundred thousand dollars a year will ever have to pay taxes again. I think he was a little confused. I think what he meant to say is nobody earning over four hundred thousand dollars will have to pay taxes again. Yeah. I think I think he was a little confused. Kind of like he confused a tornado for a hurricane yesterday. Well, at least he didn't confuse a tornado for a volcano. It's like, like you got to keep in mind, being president's very, very demanding job. There's a lot of stuff going on, <laughs> and it's confusing for an old man. Just, just need to let him have his coffee and catch up. What? Did you just fire a missile at the ground targets? No, I'm firing a missile at this asshole. <laughs> Warning, <laughs> autopilot. Oh, that asshole. Okay. The guy in the hind. Yeah. What are they doing over here? They got all their waypoints back at the fucking... He wanted some of that action, and I'm gonna give it to him. Ah, getting fucking hitching like a motherfucker. Wasn't expecting to do this, but I can do this while turning. That's fine. That's 100% cool. All right, switch it to slave, lock it on, and smile for the camera, motherfucker. Boom. 
That engine's gonna take them all the way to the scene of the crash. Jesus fucking Christ is hitching all of a sudden. I feel like they screwed up these cluster bombs. I don't know. They're almost completely ineffective now. Like my Cessna. Yeah, everybody's screwing up everything. The cluster bombs, the Cessnas. They really they should really not allow people to make patches for the month of December, because they're all gonna be out they for a month on vacation. Tested. Yeah. It's like November is the last last month you can release a patch. Content update, whatever you want to call it. Okay, that one was effective. I'll take that one. Experiencing hypoxia returning to base. <laughs> Fix the oxygen oxygen system. I, mean, I could stay low to the ground, but it's just gonna get me shot up. Yep, my flow is, uh, stopped. I thought that's what was happening. Melon, I don't know what they, if they have these on the Hornet. They don't have them on the Viper yet. You gotta use the, um, 97s. Rifle? I'm trying to repair my plane and they're telling me to shut down my engines. Rifle? Yeah, you gotta go cold. I am cold, that's the thing. My engines are shut down, my plane is completely shut down, and they're telling me, no, you gotta shut down your engines. There we go. Only took a million requests. I just grab another plane, but that's just me. <laughs> um, Silverback, so what's the best depends on your objective and your target. <clears throat> For dealing with any aircraft guns, Mavericks are, yeah, they're the best because you can stand off. You can fire them up to eight kilometers out, which means you're not at risk of getting shot down by AA guns. They're also good as a follow-up for cleaning up SAM sites that you're not sure whether or not they're active. I mean, they're not currently active, but you don't know if they're going to light up any minute. And they're pretty much your go-to for taking out modern main battle tanks like the T-90. Like, you're going to have a rough time taking out a T-90 with anything other than a Maverick or a laser-guided bomb down the hatch. I've been dropping bombs on them. Right. <laughs> that proves my point, but okay. If you're dealing with stuff that you can fly over, I like these tight groups of artillery that I have over here, you want to use cluster bombs. The on the A10, the CBU 105 or the CBU 97. Mark 82s. They're fun. Mhm. Mm well, I was asking in chat what the best weapon to use is for air to ground, and I'm saying it depends on the situation. Yeah. Depends on what you're trying to blow up. Now, if your objective is to blow up a toilet, I hear Taco Bell's pretty good. <laughs> I personally have not had any issues with it, but... Apparently the rest of y'all got some fucked up bowels, so... 
just the running joke. Tja. I mean, if you want to be realistic, I think the, uh, the one that messes up stomachs would be Steak and Shake. That one I've had issues with, but that's just because they don't wash their hands at that particular location. I miss that one chef at Steak and Shake. The Grill Man! So, Silverback, I don't know if you see it, but down there should be a link to the Discord server if you wanted to join and chat a little more. Thank you for the follow. I'll be back next Tuesday. We'll be doing more of the same DCS talk and fly. Don't forget to follow. Follow him. Yeah, follow follow Ryan here. Let me get you his link because he I'm he does. Not a rule. <laughs> no, but you do stream like randomly, so yeah. he does more than just Tuesdays. Yeah. I doubt there's find anybody you. out there that actually makes a rule that if you follow one person, you have to follow somebody else. That'd be a dick move. Well, I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying you should. Yeah, the I, only, know, I know. The only problem with this fucker is he doesn't read his chat, but... Yeah, <laughs> he's funny regardless, so... He'll make you laugh, whether you like it or not. <laughs> anyway, I'm off to get some lunch and get ready for make you feel like you're going to hell for laughing at some of the things I say and do, but you'll laugh no matter what. Black Queen says, can't. Everything I said could be proof and used against me, but never mind, it's okay. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh. I know, Queen. Because, because... Seriously, you want to do this now. I'll do this now at the end of the stream. The police officer asked me if I had any proof of what you were saying. And I went back and I noticed you never once said any of this shit in text. You only said it in voice. So that's that's why I'm not going to meet you on Friday. I'm not going to do any suicidal threats or anything. Like if you want to do it on text so it's in writing, that's one thing. But I'm not I'm not playing this game. I tell you, get help. Go get some fucking help. I got help. And I'm happy. I'm glad where I'm at. And you can be too. You just got to go get it. Anyway. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back next week. Until then, y'all have a great time.